Hi, I'm Pastor Flora. And if you joined us last week and the week before, well, welcome back to our short Bible reflection. If you're a new viewer, so glad to have you here with us. Like I have, each week I find myself a comfy chair to sit in and perhaps a table next to me. I have a candle and a cross, but any faith symbol will do. Now, as I light the Christ candle, we invite Jesus into our presence. So silence the technology, come out of the noise, and listen to the silence. This morning, we're going to do a breathing prayer. Breathe in as I say, Holy Spirit, fill me. Breathe out as I say, Holy Spirit, cleanse me. Holy Spirit, fill me with peace. Holy Spirit, cleanse me of anxiety. Holy Spirit, fill me with compassion. Holy Spirit, cleanse me of judgment. Holy Spirit, fill me with trust. Holy Spirit, cleanse me of fear. Holy Spirit, fill me with patience. Holy Spirit, cleanse me of impatience. Holy Spirit, fill me with hope. Holy Spirit, cleanse me of despair. Holy Spirit, fill me with love. Holy Spirit, cleanse me of hatred. Now I've spread out on this table a box of colored pencils. Actually, I love to do adult coloring. And colors remind us of places and times. Colors shape our moods. We like some colors and we dislike other colors. So colors take on meaning for us. Pick one and tell me about a color that is your favorite and another that is your least favorite. My favorite is light blue or azure blue. The color that I dislike is black. Pick one up with me and tell me about a color that is your favorite ice cream color. Okay, for that, I would choose brown because I love chocolate ice cream. Pick up one with me and tell me about a color that reminds you of a food you don't like. Well, that's easy for me. That would be green because I don't like zucchini in any form. Today we read a passage from the Message Bible. It's from Isaiah chapter 35 verses 1 to 2. And on this April 1st, it's really apropos that we do that because not that it's April Fool's, but that it's spring and the daffodils and the crocus have come up and the tulips are pushing the warm soil upward as well. And Isaiah tells us about spring in the Holy Land. Wilderness and desert will sing joyously the badlands will celebrate and flower. Like the crocus in spring, bursting forth with blossom, a symphony of song and color, mountain glories of Lebanon, a gift. Awesome Carmel, stunning Sharon, gifts. God's resplendent glory fully on display. God awesome, 
God Majestic. Now tell your stories triggered by the sentences that I'm going to read aloud. Let God listen in to your thoughts. Select a color and tell yourself how it reminds you of someone or something for which you are thankful. I'm gonna choose the color brown. I'm thankful for my husband, Don. Select a color and tell how it reminds you of a place where you are most aware of God. Well, for me, that would be, again, my favorite color, azure blue, and that would be Hampton Bays, Long Island. Hear us, O oh God. Select a color and tell yourself how it reminds you of something that makes you feel joy. For me, that would be the color orange, God's beautiful sunsets. Select a color and tell yourself how it reminds you of something that causes you to worry. Right now, that would be red. I see it pictured so often on the television screen and in the papers as well. And that is a picture of the COVID-19 virus. Hear us, O oh God. Select a color and tell yourself how it reminds you of something you wish or hope for. the color blue, the darker blue. And that reminds me of God. It reminds me of the sky and all of creation. It reminds me of God's love. Hear us, O oh God. Select a color and tell yourself how it reminds you of God. I chose flesh color, and it reminds me of God's hand, of God's palm, and how God holds us, as Isaiah says, in the very palm of God's hand. So while we're going through this crisis and all of its uncertainty, we know that God hears us and God is with us. Hear us, O oh God. Now, next Wednesday, we're going to have a reflection on uh, for Holy Week. So we hope you join us at noontime as we look at the trial of Jesus, the arrest of Jesus, and all that that entails. So until then, may the God of peace, which passes all understanding, Guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. Be healthy, be safe, be well, and God bless. Amen.